Okay, we've already talked about uh, relationships in uh, Microsoft Access and uh, we know that Microsoft Access is a relational database. Essentially this means that um, we relate tables to one another. Now, if you look at our document, we've got a basis of a small invoicing system there. If I go to the database window, right click and select relationships, we can see that um, we have tables here for table customers, table orders, order details and table product. Now the relationship we're going to look at is this one here between customers and orders. Now we can see that we have a customer ID in the customers table and a customer ID in the orders table. Essentially what this relationship is is a one-to-many relationship. The one side is normally here with, with the one symbol and the upside down kind of eight figure denotes the many side. So we're saying that one customer can have many orders and each order can only belong to one customer. So we have the primary key in table customers, we put the same key into the orders table and that becomes the foreign key, customer ID. And that's how we create the one to many relationships between those tables. But how do we model that on screen? Well, probably the best way is to use what's known as a main form and a sub form.